four matches this time, so a lot to get to. But of course, we are going to make time for Cristiano Ronaldo and his hat trick for Portugal. Tying Spain was a huge accomplishment, and his country won Euro 2016. But it's not so much your best player that dictates your success, it's your backups. Now, that being said, there's a decent chance these two will tangle again in the knockout round. But because of those backups, I still give Spain the slightest of edges if they meet again. Now, as for today, while there are many questions about how France will gel and if they're worthy of being one of the better ranked teams in the world, the test shouldn't come against Australia. Argentina is on a mission, especially if Lionel Messi wraps up his World Cup career after July. He should start 1-0 after beating Iceland. Peru hasn't been back at the World Cup since 1982, but rust is a bad thing at this tournament, so Denmark has a good chance of scoring at least a point. And because Argentina and volatile Iceland are in the same group as Croatia and Nigeria, those two have a lot to play for in this one. Advantage Croatia.